Hey, what is up YouTube? We're back. We are installing, so we got the Rizoma mirrors on. We're working on doing the turn signals right now. This is the turn signals I ended up going with. I've already got the bracket mounted. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can see that. If not, I will show you one off the bike. So the bracket literally mounts under the mirror just over on the side. Turn signals literally just slide up and in. And then the turn signals will literally just stick out the side there. They don't look too bad. We'll see what the final product looks like, see if I like them or not. But these will literally plug and play with the OEM turn signals is the biggest reason why I went with them. There's no drilling holes, no messing up your plastics and stuff like that. Uh, so I went with those. I felt like they were the best option, the quickest and easiest option to go with. This is, this is the other bracket. This is the L-shaped bracket. You will have to have these to do the install. Just know that that side will go down. It will literally just go up underneath. Let's see if I can do this. It will literally just sit. So there's a hole cut out there. For an, there's an indention piece here. Then the other bolt will just fit around this big hole here. Literally just slide it right up in there. Tighten that bolt down, and then that will be your bracket for your turn signal. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. Take off your windscreen, four bolts, your cover here. You have two plastic tabs here. Slide them out, and then you'll slide down up under this lip here. Come over here to... Can you connect these? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and connect them. So then, these are the parts you will need. Go ahead and zoom in here. There is a part number. You will need one of these. One of these. And then these are the turn signals themselves. You will need two turn signals. They do not come as a pair. They're only one per kit and they're about 90 bucks a piece. Everything here you see with shipping was about $230, I think, with shipping. But I got two-day shipping on it. So you'll need two of these, one and one. Uh, so you got the brackets in one of these, and then the other one is the wiring harness, which Katie's currently messing with at the moment. So you'll have the turn signal, and then the wiring harness that makes it OEM, so it's literally just plug and play. So we got everything buttoned up, everything's looking good. Got both turn signals installed. I ran them through up underneath here on the dash on this side and then on this side I ran them I don't know if you guys can see but I ran them down and then up under the display screen here you could also run it literally over the top here and then behind and then down Either way, I chose this way for now. I don't know how long I'll stick with it. I might go this way. might look cleaner, actually, coming this way. This way to this way instead of down. But for now, that's how we have it. Went ahead and zip-tied it up already. Go ahead and throw the turn signals on. They're pretty bright. Go ahead and turn this one on again. They're pretty bright. They look really, really good. And they fit in super well. Yeah, you can leave it like that. That works. I really like them. Go ahead and zoom out a little bit. I really like how these turned out. And they're not big and bulky. They're super lightweight, super slim lined. Looks freaking amazing. Now... I'm going to let her take over real quick and hold the camera. Go ahead and hold this. 
Turn that off. So for the black piece here, two little tabs here and here, and then this little clip down here at the bottom. Go ahead and move around for me. So you'll slide the bottom clip up and it will clip into place. And then the two tabs, you have the rubber grommets here. They literally just pop straight back in and that's all it is. Got these two rubber pieces here. Pull them out. You working that camera good? Yeah. Alright, so this rubber pieces, I go ahead and push them through. Oh, it's easier to go this way. Can you see that alright? I work them through from the bottom. It's a little easier. Same thing on this side. Go ahead and work it through like that. Alright, so I had to reach one hand underneath to be able to reach the rubber piece underneath because it wasn't wanting to push through this black piece here. It was starting to like bunch up the rubber was. So went ahead and pushed it in, got it all in, got it all nice and neat. Now for now for the bolts here, I only hand tighten these. Then once I get them hand tightened, then I will go back with a wrench and just do like a quarter turn and that is it. You can't over tighten these and the rubber pieces are expensive. They're almost like $9 a piece. So you don't want to damage them, although they do get damaged all the time. Well, that's pretty much it. Did I forget anything else? We good? I think so. Got the Rizoma mirrors. We'll do one last shot of everything put back together. But yeah, literally hand tight, all I do. Then go back there with the wrench. Quarter turn. Good. Good. Right. And that's it for you guys. Pretty simple, pretty easy install. It was a little confusing at first trying to figure out which way the brackets go. Other than that, it turned out absolutely amazing love the way it looks love the way it turned out looks super mean super clean if you guys like this video go ahead and like comment subscribe hopefully i'll get out tomorrow make a video on how i like the rizoma mirrors i have not got to ride with them yet so now that i got the turn signals installed i'm going to take this out tomorrow and do a first ride on how I like the mirrors. Plus, the video will be out before this one. Lightweight rotor. That's installed. Love it. Looks amazing. But yeah, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I'll catch you guys in the next one.